Alright, hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ratchet and Clank 2. Uh, if you hadn't noticed, we are not where we were last episode. That's because I was on my way back and I spotted this thing down the escalator over there. And I think uh, that's how we can go and get this bolt. Yeah, just noticed that. Figured, why not? Go grab that since it's pretty much right there. Alright, so yeah, got that platinum bolt. I don't know if you guys were really interested in getting it, but I just kind of noticed that. So anyways, I know we've already been through here, so I'm just going to cut out and I'll see you guys back to where, back at where we were in the previous episode. Okay, so I'm back where we were. I don't know what was going on there. I ended up teleporting back somehow. But let's see what's going down in this uh, arena thing. Ha! You the lost, Megacorp! Take your imperialistic eco-fascism to another dimension! Say goodbye to your franken best. Come on, Frank! Too slow! So we're gonna get him after that intense train battle. I just missed like a ton of times. Should have just stayed locked on. I think Ratchet and Clank 3 does a, a better job of that, keeping locked on than moving opponents. And I don't know what's going on here. He doesn't even have time to be attacking me. I'm just gonna... Ah, don't change my camera angle. Mess me up. So, apparently they all just... Alright. Yeah. You had us worried for a moment. Do you suppose we should stop him? Not worth it. We got what we came for. Let's just get that little guy back to Mr. Fizzwidget. Got some Ratchet? sharp teeth. Frank, is that you? We've accomplished our mission, sir. The experiment is safe and in our possession. <gasps> Why, that's cutaneous! Absolutely munificent! You two are a voluptuous team! We were glad to assist, sir. We just need coordinates to our next rendezvous point. Of course. I'm on my way to give a tour of Megacorp's historical mining site. Here's a little pack talk on the fragility. Megacorp Manufacturing and Mining, a tireless drum major leading the galaxy on its march of progress. Come to our desert mining facility and see why our most precious product is our history. When we first arrived, we found a planet completely overrun by rainforest. To better accommodate the local wildlife, we transformed this impassable jungle into an easily navigable desert. Ever the technological pioneer, Megacorp invented the automated management team thereby eliminating costly upward mobility and all the while making your life richer megacorp manufacturing and mining our march continues to the tune of progress and profitability call investor relations today is that facility still operational sir alas no but it's steeped in hysterics i've offloaded the condiments to your naval computer we'll see you there all right, so we're heading to this desert planet. The Megacorp mining facility is on. I do remember this level quite a bit. And it is called Planet Tabora. That's fun. And I don't think we'll go, oh, we won't. Hey, there's Mr. Fizzwidget. <laughs> what happened? Everything's fine. There was just a bit of debris on the landing pad. That was our ship. Don't worry about it, little fella. It's insured. So, do you have the, uh, delivery? Terribulous! Come, gentlemen. There is precious little time. Just sit back and relax, boys. How about a little flying music? Uh oh. He did that 
on purpose. Nah, he's just easily distracted. Yeah, well, well. <laughs> Come on, let's see if we can find a way out of here. <laughs> he says this is like these creatures convene over there. I like how there's a vendor even in here. So, a little update. Not necessarily a good one, but uh, I had pre-ordered my PlayStation 4 quite a while back from Target. And they sent me an email yesterday saying my order had been cancelled. So I went ahead and called them to see what was up. And apparently it had something to do with uh, not having enough units and not sure if that was Sony making promises they couldn't keep or just misinformation. Nevertheless, it, it pretty much sucks, so I will not be getting that on release date. Uh, I'm really not sure when I will be getting it, just because from what I've heard, there's going to be uh, quite a bit of backlog in the systems themselves, so little bummed when I heard that at first, but I'm over it now. I'll just have to keep making videos on the PlayStation, which, you know, is fine because it turned out uh, no one's really sure if we even will be able to use capture cards with the PlayStation 4. Uh, while I find it highly unlikely that Sony would make it so you couldn't use capture cards, I I still don't really want to take the risk, especially because to record games on launch date I would have had to buy a different uh, HD PBR as mine does not have an HDMI outlet. So we get that. And one thing is that's probably more positive is that I probably wouldn't have been able to record, or I probably wouldn't have recorded much on the PlayStation 4 on launch day because there's no real games coming out on launch date that I would like to let's play or have on my channel. There's a few ones that look pretty fun, but there's nothing out for me yet that is just like mind-blowing I need to have. And it looks like we're gonna get something says, cool. In case of emergency, break glass with wrench. Hold on. This one says, use rock to break glass to get wrench to break glass to get rock. Ooh, I love logic puzzles. Let's see. If you break the glass with a solved it. And so we Your get a new wrench. And this wrench now does more damage. It's kind of sad, if you think about it, leaving our... Well, I haven't Let's Played the first game, but leaving the trusty wrench from the first game behind, but nevertheless, the more damage it does, the better. Alright, so let's head up here. So my question to the viewers uh, would be, have you guys pre-ordered your PlayStation 4? If so, like, when did you do it and with whom? Or are you planning on getting the PlayStation 4 eventually? Because I, I will, I would still like to get it as soon as possible, but, you know, if they have backlogged orders, I realize that might not be able to get one anytime soon, meaning not until early next year, maybe even, at worst case scenario. But then again, Sony does want to make money, so best way to do that would be to keep producing systems that people want to buy since there's such high demand. Let's go get these guys. They have like three layers of skin. Alright. So, I was... Is this... This is a swing shot I need. Okay. So, what that means for the channel is just won't be able to see any of that uh, PlayStation 4 content on release date. It's it's probably gonna be quite a bit. But I'm sure I'm sure someone will have it, so 
Uh, what is going on here? I guess I just have to helipack down. That's that's kind of sketchy. But it'll still be fun. I have a few things in mind to do after this, uh, as well as the. Hand over the experiment now. I can't do that. You have three seconds. One. Two, three, ah! uh. Whoa, he's a she. This changes nothing. Where's the experiment? We have returned it to Mr. Fizz, Widget. Oh, you've just put the whole galaxy in imminent danger. But, but I don't have time to stand around explaining it to you. If you have any intention of fixing the mess you've made, watch this. Oh no! Good thing that wasn't little Susie. Here at the Megacorp testing facility, we make sure the products you buy are safe for you and your family. These are just a few of the products we've rejected to help keep you safe. The Tiny Tot Slingshot, the Nuclear Mousetrap, Self-Wedgifying Underwear, and the Lawn Ninjas. So the next time your toaster doesn't explode in your face, say a little thank you to the Megacorp testing facility. Wow, she's got a few bolts loose. What does a testing facility have to do with galactic danger? I am unsure. However, I believe we should investigate that location. Well, we're gonna need a new ship. So you might recognize those lawn ninjas from the third game. Where I believe they're in Quark's, uh, and there's gonna be another cutscene. They're in Quark's, Quark's, Quark's base. Oh. Oh. Hello, sir. Hey, that's my ship. Possession is an illusion. Do not all things belong to the cosmos? Uh, no. That's definitely mine. This vessel suffers from wounded chai. Only the power of the crystals can hope to heal it. Crystals, sir? Crystals? Like those found in the desert? Beyond. Oh. Oh. Well, we don't have any better ideas. Let's go grab a few crystals. Alright, so we need ten crystals to repair the ship. Alright. Let's get more ammo. Alright. And I believe there's something over that a ways too, but let's get the crystals first. And let me get a weapon out. That would probably be good. Let's get the seeker gun, some experience, and what you're gonna realize pretty quick is that all these crystals are guarded. Can't just run in. Actually, you can run in and get them because I've done it before, but you're gonna have to get through a lot of these guys. Seeker gun. Might as well just kill these guys for experience. Alrighty. Heading on. This one. I guess that, that one's just up for grabs on how they pop up after. There's quite a few of these guys. Scary looking things. Alright. I'm not gonna spend much time on those because no one really cares. Oh, I actually got two. Two for. Alright. Just keep heading out. Here's another one. Now I know this can get uh, pretty tricky. Well, maybe I'll run into one. I don't want to spoil it in case we do run into one. Now it's, now it's very mysterious. I know. I don't know how many people are watching this that actually haven't played this game, though. Most people who are watching this probably have. Okay, so here, here we go. Uh, these things, yeah, they're really big and creepy. And they used to freak me out as a kid playing this game. I won't walk onto them, it's annoying. And he's got all these layers of armor, much like the, the regular guys. I don't even know what to call them. 
but he does have a crystal. So it's all worth it in the end, really. I do not have time for that. And head across this way. I used to think it... Well, I mean, I still do think it's pretty cool how big this map is, considering. Like, Ratchet and Clank is not the most open world kind of game. But this level, this level, you, you do get a taste of it, even if it is just, like, desert. And there is one later in the game that's a lot like it. Okay, so I can actually get him with that. Go, get another one. Somehow I ended up with two on that one. And it looks like there's another big guy over here. Oh yeah, because you get one from the monster and then you get one from the ground. Alright, so we have ten. Let's just head back. I know you can get... This guy's following me. I know you can get uh, achievements and stuff for getting all the crystals, but oh, well, I might as well grab the ones that are on the way back. Oops. Just use this. These bugs—they like don't—they weren't even attacking me. Oh, now they're behind me. Great. You know what, guys? I don't have time for you. The mini nukes. Pretty darn cool. That mushroom cloud it creates. Alright, head back over the bridge. We got a couple extras. I believe you can get bolts for uh, getting the extra crystals. Fairly sure that's what he gives you. And some more lancer ammo is helpful. A uh, quick update. I know I haven't been posting a lot lately, just twice a week. Uh, and that's because I've been busy with school and stuff, but this weekend uh, I won't have any videos to put up because I'm going out of town. So this is going to be the last video of this week that I'll have up. Videos will probably resume on Monday if I can. Yes, the crystals are spiking the money with a single voice. That was pretty impressive. Bring me more crystals, and I'll pay you cold hard bolts. Huh? You can earn. All right, so might as well just give them those. And there's tons of crystals in that desert. Anyways. This is where we're going to end for today, and the next episode we'll be heading over that a ways to check out the rest of this level. I hope you guys enjoyed, and leave a like or comment, and subscribe if you want more content like this, Ratchet and Clank 2, and Sly Versus. Again, thanks for watching, I'll see you next episode.